All right, let's go ahead and talk about a um, little couple of things that we had. We, we, we were talking about representing values like, like five, and that's positive five, so it would just be five positives. Two, three, four, five. And uh, we talked about doing things like adding things to this. So if I go five, I start with this five, and then I have some action, add negative three. So add negative three literally means like put them in there with it. So if I add negative three, I'm going to put negative three in here with it. And then let me see what happens. Um, these are zeros, like this right here. Sorry, I meant to highlight it. Are zeros. So what I really have after I add the three negatives, because they make zeros of those three positives, is positive two. This is the sort of stuff that we practiced uh, last time. So um, adding is we're, we're throwing something in there. Now let me think about um, subtracting. So if I just said five minus two, like I'm, I know that you know the answer to that, but I, I'm doing it this way just to kind of show the way that this model works. So five minus two. So there's a couple things going on here. I start with something and then I have um, some action to take. This is what I'm starting with. This is the action. So I'm going to start with five. So one, two, three, four, five, five positives. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to take away two. So this subtraction take away. So I, it really means take away two positives. So here's two positives. And if I take them away, boop, 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 what's left is three positives. So five minus two is three. You already know that. Uh, let's take a look at another thing with this idea of subtraction. How about if I had minus five minus uh, negative three? It looks like a five. Let me fix that. So again, look what we have. We have a start and then we have some action. So let me think about my start. I'm going to start with five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to take away my action, subtract, take away three negatives. So there's three negatives. I'm going to take them away. They're gone. What am I left with? Two negatives. Yeah, so we have adding where you're literally adding something in. We have subtraction where you're taking stuff away. So how does this work in something like this? Let's say I had five and I want to take away negative three before I took away positive three, I think. Um, so now I want to take away negative three. Well, same structure here. I'm going to start with something and then I'm going to have some action that I do. So I'm going to start with the positive five. So one, two. Uh, three, four, five. <laughs> Sorry about my pen. Okay, so I'm starting with five positives. Now I want to take away three negatives. But as I look at this, I don't have, I don't see any negatives that I could take away. But I can take advantage of zeros. Like this is five. But notice if I if I just make an extra zero in here, it's still worth five. This is just a zero. And this zero, there's there's really just an infinite number of zeros floating around with this five that keep it five. So I could I could add them for as long as I as long as I want. This thing is still worth, this whole thing is still worth five because it's five positives and then a bunch of negatives. Now, I added more than I need to do this problem because I only need to take away three negatives. So I could leave those, but kind of clouding it up. So this is still positive five that I'm starting with. I'm going to take away three negatives. So here's three negatives. Take them away. They're gone. What am I left with? Five, six, seven, eight. Positive eight. All right, let's try another one. Um, how about if I had negative six minus negative four. Uh, let me switch those. How about negative four minus negative six? So again, same structure. I'm going to start with something and then I'm going to do something to it. Have some, uh, some action. So I'm going to start with four negatives. One, two, 
three, four. And, and then it tells me to take away six negatives. Well, I've only got four negatives. And if I want to take six negatives away, I'm going to have to throw in some zeros here. So let me bring in a zero. Now I have five negatives. Bring in another zero. Now I have six negatives. So notice this whole thing, it's still worth negative four. That's a zero, that's a zero. But now it's set up in a way that I can see that there's six negatives I can take away. So here's six negatives. I'm going to take away. When I take them away, they're gone. And what's left is just the two positives. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the whole idea with subtracting uh, these values. If you don't have what you need to take away, you're going to add some zeros. Let me do one more. Negative 3 minus 4. And that's a, that's a positive 4 that I'm taking away. So negative 3 minus 4. So I'm going to start with something, and then I'm going to have some action. So I'm going to start with the... Uh, Start with a negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And now it tells me to take away 4 negative or four positives. Sorry. Uh, I don't have any positives that are showing. Well, how about I show them through some zeros? There's a 0, but this is still worth negative 3 because it's negative 3 and a 0. Here's another 0. Now I have two positives. I want four positives to take away. Bring in another 0, bring in another 0. This is really important to look at this and go, oh, that's worth negative 3. All this is just a 0. Okay, so I'm starting with negative 3. I'm going to take away positive 4. So here's positive 4 right here. Boop, boop, boop. Take it away. What's left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 negatives. It's negative 7. All right. Watch this video a couple times uh, if you need to. Send me questions.